Hey there, superstar. Go get him. Yo, MP. I'm expecting big things from you out there, bro. Yo, MP. Everyone knows you can put the ball in the basket. I want to see what you got defensively. Oh, we winning this one tonight. I can feel it. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. And on tap tonight, it's the Detroit Pistons going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Allie LaForce in a moment. Well, we've got some explosive athletes out here tonight, Grant, and front row seats to watch it. You know, B.A., they're going to be stuffing that highlight reel all night. I mean, you can feel the energy in this place. The crowd is definitely ready for it. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves, Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. Rudy Gobert is out there with Kyle Anderson, and it's McDaniels in a small forward. Pass to Conley. McDaniels against Bogdanovich. Clock at six. Outside Anderson. And it's Isaiah Stewart with a foul. That's his first foul. Gobert finds Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Ivy. Edwards for three. Rebound Detroit. This game against Minnesota is the first time they've met this year. And with this matchup being East versus West, this is the first of only two meetings between these teams. And, you know, there's always a bit of a feeling out process in that first game between opponents. A lot different than when you've played a team you're familiar with. And Grant, a game that is no doubt tough for MP. Tonight's contest being played on the anniversary of his grandfather's passing, the late great truck. And playing a game on the anniversary has to be tough for MP. 
You want to block it out, but that swell of emotion hits you as soon as the game starts. Hopefully, it will inspire a great performance from him. Here's Cunningham. The Timberwolves getting their last shot to go. And Conley grabs the miss. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Well, Greg, given the proud history of the Pistons, the teens were an especially rough decade for them. Yeah, I mean, nothing much went right for them. But I'll say this for Detroit fans, they never give up on their team. It's as faithful a fan base as you'll find. Cunningham passes to Ivy. Now here's Stewart. Three-pointer. Drills it from deep. I love it. I mean, great ball movement by Ivy. The Timberwolves have gone just two for four from the floor. Outside Edwards. Connolly a screen on Ivy. And here's Edwards outside. And it's MP with a rebound. Detroit has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Ivy against Conley. Pass to Cunningham. Here's Lewis. Tries it from 16. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. And just a great read from Cunningham. Bouncing on opportunities to collect steals. And in the first quarter, about three minutes played. Conley against Cunningham. Gobert with a screen on Cunningham. Conley against Cunningham. Six on the shot clock. The shot by Conley. No good. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Pistons. Defeated by Washington in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Yeah, and it's not easy to do. Much easier said than done, but they're capable of making it happen. It just comes down, I think, to will and desire. Here's Conley. MP with the block. And that rejection has to get MP's blood pumping. Defensive stops like that really make an impact. The Pistons leading. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Bogdanovich passes to Lewis. Minnesota with a rebound. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Now Gobert giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. Conley finds Gobert. Can they get it? Oh, MP with a block. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. That'll put some fear into the shooters. And he made sure to do it early, too. For the Pistons, Harris comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Morris in for Ivy. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first. And here's Cunningham. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. Pass to Lewis. The three is up. It's rebounded by Moore. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Cunningham against Conley. Gobert with a screen on Cunningham for three. Conley. The shot no good. And that does it for the first quarter. Pistons ahead. They're up by five. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And guys, what's your take on the Pistons so far? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. Joe Harris out there with Marvin Bagley. Then it's Monte Morris. Then it's Thompson. And it's Lewis in at the center position, locking down the middle. That's the group for Detroit starting the second. When you discuss the Minnesota Timberwolves, 
What would you say about their front office, Grant? Well, B.A., they want to be as competitive as possible. Whether it's who they are drafting, trading for, or signing in free agency, this team's goal is to be taken seriously out west. All right, let's toss it over to the sideline for a report on MP. Thanks, Brian. Guys, this game falls on an emotionally charged night as MP will play on the anniversary of his grandfather Truck's passing. MP said, it won't be easy, but I know Grandpa would want me to play and to play well. We'll see just how he's able to manage out on the floor in this one, guys. Yeah, good stuff, Allie. Playing with a heavy heart indeed. Reed passes to Alexander Walker. Just five on the clock. Pass to McLaughlin. Pulls up on the wing. Richard's shot is off. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Edwards, a pass to Richards. And we're going to have a jump ball. Thompson with it. Picked up by Reed. And he lobs it up to the rim. Here's Alexander Walker taking a look at his production. Averaging just over eight points a game. Pass to Reed. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. To the inside. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Bagley. Alexander Walker with the bucket. And here are the Pistons. It's a three-point game. Thompson outside. Clark, at this time of year, trade rumors are a big topic. How much does it affect a player to hear his name thrown around like that? I think it does have some kind of effect, but it's an individual call. Some guys handle it better than others, but the bottom line is it's not in your control. As a player, you have to be able to block that out and focus on the task at hand. Wow. Pretty much an unbelievable slam there, B.A. And you got that right. I don't know how he was able to execute the reverse with that stingy defense that was being played there. Detroit calls timeout. And it's a completely new group for the Pistons. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Rudy goes. Checked in for the Pistons. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Edwards is checked in. Fifty-four seconds left to play in the first half. Bogdanovich finds MP. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. Kudos for the effort, but he got there a little too late. There's 49 seconds left in the first half. It's Edwards on the wing. The Pistons clear it. Lewis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Stewart inside. Anderson's there. And here's Ivy from the arc, bearing his second of three attempts. Nice look there from Bogdanovich. The shooter keeping an eye peeled and open for the open man. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Conley passes to Edwards. Back to Conley. Outside, Anderson. Ooh, he can't stop the run as that misses. MP outside. And here's Ivy from the arc. It's good! It counts at the buzzer! Whoa! The heave to beat the buzzer. Whew. That's an impossible shot, man. Even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Mm. And so it's Detroit. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this.
Welcome, everybody. And you think about what MP's going through emotionally tonight, it being the anniversary of his grandfather's death. Yeah, you talk to And now looking at our current game in progress, a disaster of a first half for the Timberwolves. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You got to like what Jaden Ivey has done in this game. Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And, you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often. But in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. Kicking off the second half, here's Chris Finch's five. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. Kyle Anderson is out there with Rudy Gobert, and it's Conley in at the point. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Wizards gave them a bit of a boost. He scored 17 points, and he also dominated the glass. No surprises there. We should have expected a game like that, given his impressive form of late. We'll see if he keeps going tonight. Brian? Okay, Allie, thanks. Well, that was an incredible night for him. They rode him to that win. And he was more than happy to carry them, B.A. He might still be feeding off that performance heading into this one. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this one. Feels confident that he can build on that prior success. An elite score demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. And so it's Edwards who brings up the ball for the Timberwolves. They trail by 14. Gobert finds Anderson from deep. Conley. The Pistons clear it. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Back to Ivy. Pass to Lewis from outside the arc. Anderson pulls it down. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Well, he may not be a flashy player, but Kyle Anderson is a winner, Clark. He really is. I mean, he's selfless, understands how to play. You hear that said a lot. It's about IQ. It's about feel, understanding. Gets it done at both ends of the floor, and I love the fact that he's a tremendous playmaker at 6'9". And Jade McDaniels picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. We're just about two minutes into the second half now. Stewart outside. To the paint. Here's Lewis. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. Edwards, the pass to Conley. Here's Gobert. Pass to Anderson. And Stewart over to help. Back to Gobert. Six to shoot. McDaniels against Bogdanovich. McDaniels can't hit. Detroit has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. And Stewart with a basket on the assist by MP. Stewart's got five points. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Let's keep it up. Oh. Duran, he's checked in for Lewis. Alexander. Be <laughs> <laughs> up on that. The three, here's Harris. Cash hits MP, picking up the assist. MP's got his fourth assist in this one. For Minnesota, they've gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Ooh, and once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game, largely because he's shot so poorly. MP, the pass to Morris. Back to MP. Tries to break his ice. Edwards pulls it in. 
Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. From 10 feet away. And that one hits the back iron. And so it's Detroit with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. Back. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Well, Clark, we're over a decade now with the restricted area on NBA courts. How much would that have changed things during your day? I think quite a bit because the game was played closer to the bucket. I mean, there was more post-up action, more attacking of the rim from close in. So I do think it would have had an impact on how the game was played and officiated had that restricted arc area been in existence. Like, what, like what's it might have what, led what, what, earlier to okay. teams I mean, well, he always to his space mouth the floor a little more to create more driving lanes without a lot of help defense. Marvin Bagley is out there with MP. Then it's Joe Harris. Then it's Monte Morris. And it's Burks uh, in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for Detroit right now. Harris finds MP. And they double up MP. And the ball is tied up. Yeah. So we'll have a jump ball. Like basically that's like first time I ever heard of him was like like basically doing interviews. Because I think him and uh Joe Bunge was interviewing and stuff. And it's for some reason Here's McLaughlin. this motherfucker has become like the Has to like, read. I don't know how. A lot of motherfuckers be giving that dude so much, uh, like, be capping for him. Pounded but this mother be saying some, like, outlandish crazy shit. You Reed know, like, he was talking about, Just like, uh, old school Edwards rappers, like, how they broke and shit. And had, like, had LL say some shit. And, uh, he, he said. Yeah, like, he said some shit about, like, uh, Erica Badu. You know what I'm saying? Like recently, like MP yeah, he inside. always saying some Working shit. It's like motherfuckers be MP steady giving off. this motherfucker up. You know, even though and they're like, on top in this one, this motherfucker. You'd like him to be better from, out there. To begin, because to he's be his voice of hip hop better. and shit. It sure you know would make things a lot easier too. Yeah, like you know the dude been around for some years. It's like dude be on some straight sucking shit. Richards with a screen. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Alexander Walker drains the triple. They're being put to the test, and he's doing everything he can to keep them in this game. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And a new group getting ready for the Pistons. Stewart. Mm -hmm. He's checked in for Bagley. Oh, I, I Boyan Bogdanovich. He comes in for Harris. Ivy's checked in for Burks. And Cade Cunningham subbed in for Morris. Mm -hmm. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Gobert's checked in for Richards. Anderson comes in for Reed. McDaniels is checked in for Alexander Walker. Oh, and Sibiani. Conley subbed in for McLaughlin. Well, that's a mistake to give him any kind of space from behind the arc. All mm -hmm. MP needs is just a little daylight to knock it down. Mm -hmm. Ivy against Edwards. Over Ivy. Edwards can't hit. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. Lewis passes to Cunningham. Now Ivy. Pass to Stewart. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Lewis has got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Conley. He says the word. For the most recent CBA, players uh, now get to share in the league's licensing revenue fund. Yeah, you know, without superstar players, the league wouldn't make as much in licensing. I was glad to see the two sides come together on this issue. It's a delicate one, but I think they landed in a good spot. Three pointer, Stewart. McDaniels with the rebound. McDaniels got four rebounds now. Gobert with a screen on Cunningham. Here's Conley. And the baseline jumper goes down. Hey, <laughs> a savvy playmaker with a great handle. Conley runs such a smooth pick and roll. Pass to MP. From seven feet. 
Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got six rebounds now in the game. Boy, they certainly had their way with the opponent at both ends. A really solid night here for the Pistons. Seemed like the sheer volume of three-pointers today was the deciding factor. <laughs> and they'd hit one and then just dial it up again. And it worked. And this will give them their 28th win of the year. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. When it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for MP. Boy, I liked how he mixed it up on the glass. Wasn't afraid to get in there and do the dirty work. Showed some real grit and toughness tonight. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Gobert finds Edwards. Connolly with the ball. Edwards looking for an opening. Buries it from three. Well, Edwards looking almost automatic there. Didn't wait too long to put that shot up. Detroit calls timeout. They're up by 19. 24 seconds left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? And they're hoping to wrap this one up. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure they needed this timeout, quite honestly. Uh, perhaps a water break? Morris on the wing. Back to MP. On the wing, Burks. Intercepted! Here's Alexander Walker. Here's McLaughlin. So we see the Pistons taking the W here. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do Good game. Good game. Okay, attribute reached. Good game, MP. Blooded MP. You guys really poured it on out there. I know this is an, an emotional time for you. I'm wondering if you can talk about what extra motivation you might have felt going into this one. <sighs> um, you know, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get through this one, uh, to be honest with you. I had a hard time focusing before the game, uh, but... Then my teammates kind of rallied behind me and showed me that they had my back no matter what, and it gave me the confidence to um, go out and play a game that honored my grandfather's memory. I'm not going to get too much into specifics, but I'll never forget what my teammates did for me. I'll tell you that. This was a really hard day, but it wouldn't have been possible without them. That's how you leave it all out on the floor. Nice job. Exactly. 
Gucci pimps. facility Excuse me.
So I had to leave her here and then get back. See you later. So I can tell on the next one. Peace.